Praise God. Good to be uh, thanking the Lord in moments like this. Because a heart of thanksgiving is very important. The many people, they don't even think for a moment what really took place on the cross. It was bringing peace upon mankind. The Bible talks about the cross in the book of Colossians. You know, the scriptures are very important for us to be guided. Or else we wouldn't know Nothing at all because anything anybody would say we would believe. Every child of God has the scriptures that they can refer. They can be guided. They can, they can stay stable. They don't have to be moved by all the things that come by their way. See, God's commandments are one. It cannot change. But time to time we find that people bring change. But God does not change. His plan of salvation is the same. Right from the beginning, his plan of salvation was without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. So, that's the only way. There is no other way you can come to Jesus, you can come to God. That's when, when Jesus preached, he was preaching and saying about him who was going to die on the cross. He said, I am the one, I am the Lamb of God. I am the, I am the Son of God, but I am also the Lamb of God. Now he didn't he didn't say it, but then the prophet John the Baptist was able to discern and say, He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Jesus took away the world's sin. And the only sin that God is holding against man today is there's only one sin the Holy Spirit convicts us of. That is the rejection of Jesus Christ. The sin has already been dealt with. God doesn't look at us as sinners. He looks at us as sons of God who have received Jesus, Lord of their life. And when he looks at the world, he looks at the world of people who are qualified to be saved through the blood of Jesus Christ. He looks at the people and says, Blessed are you, poor in the spirit. You can have the kingdom of God. But how do I enter the kingdom of God? How do I see the kingdom of God? By having a spiritual birth. 
by having a spiritual birth. Atmiku patakla bagen. In Colossians chapter 1 and verse 19 it says. Colossians ke dana me pavasanne. For it pleased the father that in the in that in him should all the fullness dwell and having made peace through the blood of his cross by the uh, by him to reconcile all things unto himself by him i say whether they be things in the earth or things in heaven kolosike 19 ay visai mak nisada unwahanse tula mulu purna kama pavatimata unwahanse ge kurase lein samadhane upadawa unwahanse karna kota gena sialu de enam polavehi tibena dewal buwat swargawal tibena dewal buwat උන්වහන්සේ කර්ණ කොටගෙන Tamanට සමග කර ගැනීමටත් පියාණන් වහන්සේ ප්‍රසන්න වූ. We see a few things here. it please the father. දැන් මෙතන සම කීපය දේවල් කීපයක් තිබෙනවා ස්වාමීන් වහන්සේව පියාණන් වහන්සේව ප්‍රසන්න කරන්නා වූ. It please the father the fullness of God should dwell in Jesus. පියාණන් වහන්සේ ප්‍රසන්න කරන වූ කාරණයක් තමයි දෙවියන් වහන්සේගේ මුළු පූර්ණත්වයම ක්‍රිස්තුස් වහන්සේ තුල ප්‍රකාශ කිරීම වාසය වීම. Peace through the blood. of the cross tulin kursiye heluwau le tulin labenna u samadhanaya peace through the blood of his cross kursiye hidi helanu labu le tulin pavaten labenna u samadhanaya reconciling all things sialu dewalma samagi kirima reconciling all things unto himself un wahanse vetatama sialu dewal samaga kirin no enmity between god and man no more thava durata deviyan wahanse manushya tatra kisi satru kama nathi wana taramata god has god says there is nothing at all between me and you deviyan wahanse dem pavasanne obat ma tatra kisi satru kama kisi ma deyak naha because jesus has filled the gap mokade e aduwa yesu swahanse visin purawa tibenawa jesus has filled the gap yesu swahanse e aduwa purawa tibenawa and brought us into the position where we are accepted into the family of god devian wahansege paulata apawa piliganna that tenata e dege na tibenawa we know several things of what jesus has done for us on the cross api dannawa yesus wahanse visin karati bena kurusiye karati bena dewal bohomaya but it's good to keep reminding ourselves namuth hondai apawama me dewal walin matak karaganna jesus was offered once and for all for our sins yesus wahanse ek wathawakata sahay muluma wathawenma pooja karnu labuwa Jesus became a curse so that we can be blessed. Jesus swahanse shaapayak kuna apa aashirwada labana pinisa. Firstly he became sin so that we become the righteousness of God have a right standing with God. Palamu kotama unwahanse paapayak kuna apata deviyan wahansege dharmishta kama wana pinisat deviyan wahansi idiri hari lesa sita ganna pinisat. And secondly we find that Jesus he became a curse so that we might receive the blessing of God. Deveni karanawa thamai unwahanse shaapayak kuna deviyan wahanse ge aashirwada apata labena pinisa. And Jesus bore upon himself all the pain and sickness. Ivagema Jesus Christus wahanse ge sharire ma sielu vedanawal roga daragatta. He took upon himself the sickness and and the disease of mankind. Manushya vargaya ge roga sa asanipa unwahanse vetata gatta. so that we can be healed appa suwa wena pinisa whatever disease it could be onama rogayak weva whatever sickness it could be onama asanipayak weva whatever pain that we are going through jesus took upon himself appa tullin appa gaman karanna onama vedanawak weva yesus wahanse unwahanse vetatama e dewal gatta you also understand that jesus took our shame e wage ma api therun ganne yesus wahanse ape ලැජ්ජාව දරා ගත්තා. He became a shameful person hanging on the cross almost naked, stark naked. උන් වහන්සේ කුරුසේදී එල්ලිලා සිට මොහොතේදී අර්ධ ආකාරයෙන් අඩ නිර්වස්ත්‍ර ආකාරයෙන් සිටුවින් අපේ ලැජ්ජාව ගත්තා. උන් වහන්සේ ලැජ්ජාශීලී භාවයට පත් වුණා. He was the son of God. He left his glory and and even to the dying of the cross he became obedient. දැන් දෙවියන් වහන්සේගේ පුත්‍රයා හැටියට උන් වහන්සේගේ මහිමය අත්හැර kuruse miya yana taramatama ki karuna he left all his glory and he came down so that you and i may be free from shame unwahanse ge sialu mahimeyak ma ayin karamin unwahanse 
කුරුසේ ලැජ්ජා අශීලි භාවයට පත් වුණා අප වෙනුවෙන් ඔබත් මාත් මේ නිසා ෆ්‍රොම් නෝ රෙපියුටේෂන් ඔර් හි එම්ටිඩ් හිම්සෙල්ෆ් සෝ දැට් වී මයි බී ටෝටලි ෆ්‍රී ෆ්‍රොම් ෂේම් දැන් උන්වහන්සේ උන්වහන්සේව හිස් කරගත්තා උන්වහන්සේගේ කීර්ති නාමය අහින් කරගෙන ලැජ්ජාවට පත් වුණා අප වෙනුවෙන් වොට් එවර් යු හැව් ගෝන් ත්‍රූ ඉන් යෝර් ලයිෆ් ඔබේ ජීවිතය තුල ඔබ කුමක් තුලින් ගමන් කරත් දැට් හැස් බ්‍රොට් ෂේම් ඉන් යෝර් ලයිෆ් ඔබේ ජීවිතයට ලැජ්ජාව ගෙන දුන්නා වූ යමක් තුල ද ස්පිරිට් ඔෆ් ද ලෝඩ් ඉස් ටොකින් ටු යු ටුනයිට් ඔර් දිස් මෙස් උදාසන ස්වාමින් වහන්සේගේ ආත්මය ඔබට කතා කරනවා I have taken your shame මම ඔබේ ලැජ්ජාව අරන් තිබෙනවා You are no longer to be shameful ඔබ තව දුරටත් ලැජ්ජාශීලි භාවයෙන් සිටින්න ඕනෑ නැහැ You don't have to receive that insult into your life and live in condemnation all the days of your life ඒ අපහාසය ඔබේ ජීවිතයට රැගෙන මුළු ජීවිත කාලය පුරාම දෝරෂා රෝපණයෙන් සිටින්න අවශ්‍ය වන්නේ නැහැ You are not guilty I became guilty for you so that you might be free and be free from condemnation Then ඔබ දෝෂා රෝපණයෙන් සිටින්න ඕනේ නැහැ ඔබව දෝෂා රෝපණයෙන් ඒ වරද ශීලි භාවයෙන් ඉවත් කරන පිණිස මම දෝෂා රෝපණයට ලක් වුණා Thank God you are free from shame දෙවියන් වහන්සේ ස්තුති වේවා ලැජ්ජාවෙන් ඔබ නිදහස් වී සිටිනවා. We are afraid of something that had happened in our lives. ඔබ බයෙන් සිටිනවා යම් දෙයක් ඔබේ ජීවිතයට සිද්ධ වේවි කියලා. A direct decision that I made or probably because of my pressure that was that was pressure that was put upon me and I have been I have been put to shame. දැන් යම් කිසි පීඩනයකට මම ලක් වුණු නිසා මොන හරි දෙයක් නිසා මාව ලැජ්ජාවට පත් වුණා. Maybe a personal decision that I made that has brought this shame into my life. Samahara vita ma visin gathao pudgalika thiranayak nisa wenna pulawa mage jeevithita me lajjawa evitti benne. But this day you can be free from your shame. Namuth ata thawase e lajjawe nobata nidahas wenna puluwan. You can rejoice and you can say thank God for Jesus who took my shame. Opata puluwan preethi wemin deviyan wansara stuti karanna Jesus wanse nisa istuti Jesus wanse mage lajjawa gatta. I don't care what people think about me but Jesus has taken my shame. Manushyan man gana kumak sithuwat mata prashnayak naha manda Jesus mage lajjawa aragatta. I'm free from the shame and the guilt. Mama e dosha aropanen sa lajjawen da nidahas It could have been something that is severe you don't wouldn't even want to discuss with somebody Then tawa kenek samaga me de beda ganna taramwat oba akamathi wenna taramata me de dharma deyak wenna puluwan But thank God for Jesus Namuth Jesus swanse nisa deviyan wansara stuti weva He publicly stood before God and before man taking our shame Jesus swanse vyurthawama deviyan wanse idiriyet manushya idiriyet උන්වහන්සේ ලැජ්ජාවට පත් වුණා. And also Jesus took away our poverty. He became so poor. ඒ වගේම යේසුස් වහන්සේ ඒ තරම්ම දුප්පත් බවට පත් වුණා. අපේ දුප්පත් කම උන්වහන්සේ ගත්තා. So that we might be free and enjoy the abundance of God. අපි නිදහසේ දෙවියන් වහන්සේගේ බහුලත්වය භුක්ති විඳින පිණිස. And one important factor that we are going to go through the scriptures and find out. දැන් අද දවසේ බයිබල් පද තුලින් අපි ඊටම වැදගත් දෙයක් සොයා දැනගන්න යනවා. Go with me to the book of John chapter 16. අපි යොහාන් 10 වෙනි පරිච්ඡේදය පෙරලමු. One important factor that every one of us should know and experience personally. අපි හැමෝම දැනගත යුතු සහ පුද්ගලිකව අධ්‍යක්ෂිය යුතු ප්‍රධාන කරුණක් හැටියට තිබෙන්නේ. Because Jesus said something very important here. මන්ද යේසුස් වහන්සේ ඊටා වැදගත් දෙයක් මෙතන පවසනවා. Okay, let's go to the book of John chapter 16 and verse 15. යොහාන් 10:15. But now I go away, I go my way to him that sent me. None of you ask at me whither so goest thou. John 16 and verse 5. යොහාන් 10:5 නමුත් දැන් මා එව තරන් මහන්සේ ළඟට යමි කොතනට යන සේක් දැයි නුඹලාගෙන් කිසිවෙක් මාගෙන් අසන්නේ නැත Where are you going now where are you going lord we don't i mean they they didn't even want to know දැන් ඔහුට දැනගන්නවත් ඕන කමක් තිබුණේ නැහැ උන්වහන්සේ කොහරද යන්නේ කියා And Jesus said but because i have said these things unto you Sorrow has filled your heart. නමුත් මාත් මේ දේවල් නුඹලාට කී බැවින් නුඹලාගේ සිත් දුකින් පිරී තිබේ. Because Jesus was talking about how people are going to treat you for loving God or giving God first place in your life. දැන් පෙතන යේසුස් වහන්සේ කතා කරේ කුමක්ද 
දෙවියන් වහන්සේට ප්‍රේම කරන නිසා මිනිස්යන් කොහොමද ඔබට සලකන්න යන්නේ කියලා. How the world would treat you, how religious people would treat you. කොහොමද ලෝකයා ඔබට සලකන්න යන්නේ? කොහොමද ආගමික මිනිස්යෝ ඔබට සලකන්න යන්නේ? Because it's very important for us to walk with God. මන්ද දෙවියන් වහන්සේ සමග ගමන් කිරීම ඉතාමත්ම වැදගත් දෙයක්. Are we God pleasers or man pleasers? අපි දෙවියන් වහන්සේ ප්‍රසන්න කරන්නෝද නැතහොත් මිනිස්යන් ප්‍රසන්න කරන්නෝද? We don't decide that on the day of judgment. ඒක විනිශ්චය දවසේදී අපි ඒ දේ තීරණය කරන්නේ නැහැ. We decide to live for Jesus now. අපි මේ මොහොතේ තමයි තීරණයක් ගන්නේ යේසුස් උදෙසා So if we were to go and see a few verses above, we find that Jesus spoke a few words and and sorrow filled their hearts. Then me to call in the men of Padavala, but the pain of Jesus was a vision. Katha kanla the watch and Nisa, onge hadavat shoke and piruna. And Jesus spoke about him leaving them. Jesus swahan se metane the uno athera yana karuna gana the katha kala. And they didn't even want to know why and where you were going. Ita passe unta dana kanna mat ono uni ne ai saha unwahan se athera kohara da yanne kia. But Jesus says why I'm going. Namu Jesus swahan se kia na wa ai unwahan se yanne kia. Was seven. Hatveni phade. Nevertheless I tell you the truth. It is expedient or it's profitable for you that I go away for if I go not away the comforter will not come unto you but if I depart I will send him unto you Ese vi namut mama nubalata sabawa kiyami maage ahakwa yama nubalata prochana matya maak nisa da ma ahakwa nogiyot sanasili karanan wahanse nubala langata enne nata namut giyot unwahanse nubala wedata ewanne me so we find jesus makes a very firm declaration here metanati apita penawa yesu swahanse ithamathma isthira prakashanaya he said i'm telling you the truth unwahanse kina man obata satyak pawasanna it is good that i go away mage ahakwa yama nubalata hondaya he didn't die a natural death unwahanse swabhavika maranayak merune naha he didn't go through any sickness for him to die unwahanse ta miya yana binisa kisi rogeyak tulin unwahanse giye naha but our sins put him on the cross or brought death into his life namu tape paape tamai unwahanse wa kuruseyata demuet unwahanse ge jeevithata maranaya kenawe his life was cut off unwahanse ge jeevanaya ivat karnu labuwa he could have lived much longer unwahanse ge tibuna meeta wada wedi kaalayak jeevath wenna much 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 longer he would have lived boho kaalayak unwahanse ge jeevath wenna tibuna but his bible the bible talks about his life was cut off namu bible e sandahan karanne unwahanse ge jeevithaya kapa hariya baba because for the sole purpose that he came was to die mokada unwahanse paminenna ma pradana aramuna hatiyata tibune miya yamai through his death we have been reconciled unto god unwahanse ge maranaya tulin tamai apawa deviya unwahanse samaga amagi kerewe it was an offering that he made unwahanse, by himself unwahan sehma kamatten kalavu poojawa so through his through his going away he said is profitable unto you then unwahanse ke ahakwa yama apata projana vatya kiyalai unwahanse pavasanna it's profitable unto us eka apata projana vat why hetu because when i go away the comforter will come into your life magni sad ma ahakwa giya vita sanasili karan wahanse obe jeevithata paminenne yanawa and there are lots of things that we can talk about the comforter then me sanasili karu gana katha karana boho dewal tibenawa the comforter himself is the holy spirit sanasili karanan wahanse kiyannet shuddhaatmanan wahanse mai god himself devyan wahanse mai and the comforter is going to come into us me sanasili karanan wahanse apa vetata paminenne yanawa all this while we find that people who serve god from the book of genesis to the book of malachi then utpatti pothe sita malaki pothe dakwama deviyan wanse seve kala manushayo we we never find that there was an indwelling of god in them then moun thula api kisi vitaka dakin nah deviyan wahanse un thula vaase karnawa but the bible all talks about god came upon them the holy spirit came upon them namut bible e katha karanne shuddhaatmanan wahanse nathan deviyan wahanse un 
उन्हांसे so we see today the going away of jesus the departure of jesus then afa ad dawase dakine jesus wahanse ge ahak wa yama pitat wa yama which brought in the arrival of the holy spirit into our lives e tulin tamai apage jeevita tulata shudhatmanan wahanse genawe god dwells in us deviyan wahanse apa tula vaasaya karnawa through the crucifixion and the death of jesus christ we find that god is able to now reside dwell in us jesus christ swahanse ke manesa kurusapat vima tulin thamai apata penenne deviyan wahanse apa tula vaasaya karnawa we don't go to church we are the body of christ which is the church api sabhavata yanawa nova अभी तब आए क्रिस्टस वाहन से के शरीर या नैमति सभा वाले से सिटी ने। We assemble ourselves in a building. We assemble ourselves in a building. Then अभी गोटन ऐगिल लखा एकतु है ना। But individually we possess God within us. नमू तानी तानी पुत्कले अन हैटी अट देवी अन वाहन से वापी दरा सिटी ना। We don't leave God in this building and go. We go with God or God goes with us. Where we go, God goes with us. Then अभी मैं गोटन ऐगिले निवात फिर याने भी तो देवी अन वाहन से वा दाहल याने वा नोवे देवी अन वाहन से सामगाई अभी याने अभी याना कोटे तो देवी अन वाहन से अप The fullness of God is in us. Devian vahan se ke mulo pur natwe ma apatulati benawa. Wherever we go, God goes with us. Apni yanne ko the na the Devian vahan se apas samaga yana. What we do, God sees. Apni karanne ko magta e de Devian vahan se dakhi na. Whether we do something that pleases God or whether we do something that does not please God. Devian vahan se va prasan na karna apni yama kalat saha. Devian vahan se prasan na nokar na yama kalat. We can grieve the Holy Spirit. Apni pula. जीसुस उट About his going away. Then Jesus swans again. How could I am again? Now unwan se digo tama kata karna. In in the same chapter. E pariche de ma. And verse number twenty two. Visidhe me ni pa de. And you, and you now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again, and your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man. Take it away from you. Johann das he visit deka. Ese nubala at den show ke thebe. Namu nevata nubala dakinde me. Evita nubala ge sita priti vanneya. Nubala ge pritiya kisi mek nubala ge pahara nuganneya. So it is a good thing that took place on the cross. I think kuru se di e sita una ude. It was good for us. एक अपे यहाँ पर तो देशा. Every one of us have been filled in the spirit now. अपि हमो मदन ये आत्मेन पीरी सिटी नवा. We are full of the Holy Spirit. अपि शुद्ध आत्मे आने इंगे सांपुने पीरी सिटी नवा. The fullness of God has come into us. देवी अनुवान से के मुनु पूर्ण आत्मे आप वेते डे पैमिनती बनवा. We are different people. अपि दन वेनस मानुष्य. We talk differently. अपि कथा कराने वेनस आकारे. We live differently. जीवात वेने वेनस आकारे. We go to places which others don't go to sometimes. अनेक थाया समाहर बीटर नौयन ना उस 
ස්ථාන වලට අපි දැන් යනවා. And we don't go to places where everybody goes. ඒ වගේම හැමෝම යන තැන් වලට අපි දැන් යන්නේ නැහැ. Now we are led by the Holy Spirit. දැන් අපිට මග පෙන්වීම ලැබෙන්නේ ශුද්ධාත්මයන් වහන්සේ. Now we believe in the one who lives in us. දැන් අපි තුල වාසය කරන්නා වූ කෙනාව අපි විශ්වාස කරනවා. We don't believe in what we think is right. අපි හරි කියලා හිතන දේ කෙරෙහි නෙමෙයි අපි විශ්වාස කරන්නේ. But we believe what the Holy Spirit tells us. ශුද්ධාත්මයන් වහන්සේ අපට කියන්නා වූ දෙයක්. That's the reason every Christian is different. ඒ නිසා තමයි හැම කිතුනෙක්ම වෙනස් වී සිටින්නේ. People can be be namely they can be a Christian but a true Christian is one who says I am led by the Holy Spirit. දැන් නමට කිතුනෙක් කියා කෙනෙකුට නමක් තියා ගන්න පුළුවන් නමුත් සැබෑ කිතුනෙක් කියන්නේ ශුද්ධාත්මයන් වහන්සේගෙන් මම මග පෙන්වීම ලබා ගන්නවා කියන්නා වූ කෙනයි. He is our peace. उन्वांसे तमाय आपे समाधाने। He has come into us to guide us। उन्वांसे आप वेतर डे पहमिना सिटी ने आप अटा मागो पहनवान ना। Let's see a few more scriptures about Jesus at the latter period he is talking। Then आप इटे थाव पदा बाला ने पुलांग अंतिम काले दे येसुस वांसे विसीन खता कलाऊ वचना। And uh, let's go to the book of John chapter fourteen। आपे योहान दा हातर दे से बाला में। In John chapter fourteen and verse 15 you handa hatara pahalawa if you love me you will keep my commandments numbala mata prema karnawa na mage aagnya raksha karanna huya if you love me keep my commandments numbala mata prema karnawa na mage aagnya wal pawatwanna i will say i love god amama kiyena na man deviyan wansara prema karnawa kiya i'm fond of god man deviyan wansara godak aadare i'm excited about god man deviyan wansa gena godak prabodhen sithina god means everything to me deviyan wansa kiyanne mage jeevithaye hama deyakma i began my life with god mage jeevithaye aramba kale deviyan wansa samagai and everything is going to be with god from from that day onwards because there is no ending to this life eta patan ma mage jeevithaye hama deyakma tibenne deviyan wansa sam මගයි මොකද මේ ජීවිතේට දැන් කෙලවරක් නැහැ I'm going to be in fellowship with God all through life and all through eternity මුළු ජීවිත කාලයේම මුළු සදා කාලයේ පුරාම මම දෙවියන් වහන්සේ සමගයි සිටින්නේ It's not only going to be in my flesh body දැන් මේ මගේ භෞතික ශරීරයේ තිබෙන තාක්කල් පමණක් නොවේ But even when the flesh body is gone away I'm still going to dwell and live with him in eternity භෞතික ශරීරයේ මගේ නිවත් වී ගිය දිගටම මම උන්වහන්සේ සමග තමයි සදා කාලයටම ජීවත් වෙන්න යන්නේ So Jesus said if you love me it is jesus wahanse kiyenawa oba mata prema karanawa na it's an if there do you really love me then metana nam kiyena wachane akkondesi athibna oba sabawin ma mata prema karanawa if you love me oba mata prema karanawa nam we use the word love for many things i love ice creams i like chocolates i love this i love that i love so and so then api ingrisi bahasawin me preme kiyena wachane boho dewal walata api katha karana handunnona mama आइसक्रीम खान गुड़ा प्रेम करना मम हाव खेना गुड़ा प्रेम करना मंग हावल देट गुड़ा प्रेम करना But Jesus asked a very direct question. Namo this Jesus, is not just loving ice creams and chocolates. Then Jesus wants to mention that in my question, I can answer. Misa, ice cream world of prema karna the chocolate world of prema karna the kina wagi ne me. Do you love me? Oba matra prema karna. And if you love me, oba matra prema karna wa nam. You will keep my commandments. Oba magi ag nyaval pavatvan ne. Or keep my commandments. Magi ag nyaval pavatvan. And his commandments are not grievous. Sing unvan se ke ag nyaval apat baran hai. It's his commandments are not grievous. Unvan se ke ag nyaval apat show kya ke na den hai. The Bible says his commandments are not difficult. The Bible le pavasan unvan se ke ag nyaval pavatvan amaru na hai kya. Hold on to that scripture. Go with me to the book of one John chapter five. Then apni me phadir na hota ena tek. Ekka Johann pasveni parichey de desa bala. Verse number three. Tum veni padya. For this is the love of God. that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous magne sada deviyan wahanse ta prema vima nam apa unwahanse ge aagnya pavatvimaya unwahanse ge aagnya baranata so wherever the word love is it has something to do with commandments i think premaya tibenawa nan yam tanaka yam kisi ana pavatvima ekata sambandhai because if you love somebody you are going to you are going to like what he or she does mokoda oba yam kenikuta prema karnawa nan e kena karana de ta oba kemati and and we are talking about god here almighty god the creator of the universe metana api katha karanne ati utum devindun ganai මුළු විශ්වයම මෙහෙම කරු ගැනයි. We're not talking about the fleshly kind of love that is 
in the world then api metana katha karanne mahanshayen kerennavu mahanshika aakare lokaye tibena premaya gena nove because in the fle- in the in the world the same word love is used as long as you are good to me as long as you are nice to me i'm going to be good to you and i'm going to be nice to you then lokaye me vachane ma paavichi karana premaya kiyana vachane namuth etana di siddha wenne kumakda oba mata prema karana nam mamat obata prema karana oba mata honda vidira salakanawa nam mamat oba obata honda vidira salakanawa but if you act differently i'm going to be mean to you namu toba venas vidiyata kriya karanna giyot mama tobata napur wenne yanawa i'm not going to be the same to you mama ara kalin selaku vidira obata salakanna yanne na but god's love is different namu devi anwansake premaya venas unconditionally he loves us and he gave himself for us hondesi rahitavai unwanse apata prema kare unwanseke jeevithe apa udesa dunne So his commandments are not difficult it or it's not uh, it's not grievous. Un vahan se ke ana phanat amaru na hai apata shoka gena denna hai. It's not difficult to walk with God. Devi anwan se samka gaman kirima amaru na hai. Because God is honest. Mokata devi anwan se avankhai. God is loving. Devi anwan se premani. God is for us. Devi anwan se apa udesha se. He is our friend. Un vahan se ape mitraya. He is always he made he made a covenant with us. Un vahan se apa samaga givi samak se dua. And the covenant he made with us is unvahan se visin apa samaga se dua givi sumana. All what I have is yours and all what you have is mine. Oba satu siyalla mage ma satu siyalla obage. We had nothing to offer him or give anything. Apata unvahan se da denna taram kisi dehak tibune naha. But all what he has he has given us. Namuth unvahan se da tibunu siyalla ma unvahan se apata di tibenawa. All who he is has come into us. Unvahan se ge siyalu sabhave ma apa vetata pamina tibenawa. It's a different life. Then venas jeevithaya it's not the kind of hollywood love that we're talking about eka api metana katha karanne e loke katha karana premaya gana nove it's a love relationship that we have with almighty god me katha karanne ati utum devindun samaga dibena premaniya samandathave gana in chapter 15 pa losseni parichede in verse number 13 dahatum weni padaya greater love hath no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends you are my friends if you do whatsoever i command you yohan pahala ve 13 yamek tamage mitrayan udesa tamage jeevithaya deemata wada mahat premaya kisivekuta nata ma numalata aagnya karana de numala karanawa nam numala mage mitrayoya I mean God says I give the commandments. Devian man se kina mama obata ana panap dennam. We don't have any commandments to give God. Apata unwahan sara denna kisi ana panathak naha. We don't have anything God do this for me do this for me he's not our servant boy he is our great God our father. Then apata naha unwahan sara denna ana panath dila kiyanna swami ni meka karanna meka karanna kiyala unwahan se ape wedakara koluwa nove unwahan se ape श्रेष्ठ पियाना He is our father. Unwahan se ape piano. He loves us. Unwahan se apata prema karana. He said I'm calling you no longer servants but I'm calling you a friend. Unwahan se apata kina tawadurutat man obawa daasiyo hetita handunwanne man obawa mitru hetitai handunwanne. I'm calling you friend. Mam obawa handunwanne mitru hetitai. Was 15 henceforth I call you not servants for the servant knoweth not what the lord doth. but i have called you friends for all things that i have heard of my father i have made known unto you pahala vedha hatrai pahala enumala mage mitra yoya dasya tamage swamiya karanne kumak dai nodanna bevin thawat numalata dasya yoya i nokiyami mak nisada mage piyaran wahansegen ma asu siyalla numalata denmu bevin numala mage mitro yai kimi he said all what i hear from the father i'm giving it to you unwahanse kiyana mage piyanan wahanse ken asana siyalla pa mama numalata denawa that's how close our relationship is in nehemai ape sambandhatave kittu bhavaya jesus has no secrets jesus swahanse kisi rahas dewal rahasigata dewal he has revealed them all unto us eh ma deyak munwahanse apata nitharav kara tibenawa we can't think god is so mysterious apa hitana deviyan wahanse kiyanne nikan therun ganna beri abirahasak thiyena kenek He is not so he's our friend. Unvahan se se no ape mitraya hetiye tai sitinne. And he wants us to be honestly walking as good friends. E wage unvahan se ta tone apit unvahan se samaga avanka 
යහපත් මිත්‍ර හැටියට සිටින්නයි and it's not difficult ඒක අමාරු දෙයක් නොවේ it's not difficult ඒ අමාරු නැහැ so we find jesus who is talking about him leaving and somebody who is going to come into us දැන් මෙතන යේසුස් වහන්සේ අත්‍යර යෑම ගැන තව කෙනෙක් අප වෙතට එන ඒම ගැන කතා කරනවා in john 14 again නැවත බාරක් යොහන් 14 in verse 16 10 වෙනි පදය i will pray the father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever mama piyanan wahanse gen illan nemi evita un wahanse nubala samaga sada kalma sitina pinisa wena sana sili kareku nubala ata dena seka the departure of jesus jesus wahanse ge ivat vi yama and and the moving away of jesus when his time was up for then, him to move away velava, and offer himself as a sacrifice then velava avahama unwahanse divatvi gos unwahanse eva pooja hawak hetita pooja karanna he said i'm not going to leave you comfortless unwahanse kiyana mama obawa sana sane nathu hatha hari yanne ha i'm not going to leave you as an orphan obawa anathyan hetita mama atha harinne na i'm still your friend mama thawama tobe mitrayai and i'm going to come into you now then mama oba vetata I was with you. Mete kal mang oba samaga city. But now I'm in you. Then mama oba thula city na. There's a big difference there. Mete na loko vena sakti bena. We are we are we come into each other. Then apy ekine ka unwahan se apy ekine ka thula thay atul bena. Now I might know somebody. Then mama kine ko handuru na oven na puluan. They can move along with me. E aya ma samaga hashre karan na puluan. And they can be so close to me. E aya ma ta gudha kitto na puluan. But they are not in me. Namut e aya ma thula na hai. But when it comes to the place where I have come into my uh, relationship with my wife. මගේ බාහිරේ අව සමග තිබෙන සම්බන්ධතාවයේදී well, I have given myself to her and she has given herself to me and we are in each other ජීවිතේ ඇ වෙනු වෙනුත් ඇගේ ජීවිතේ මා වෙතට දීලා අපි එකින් එකා තුල සිටිනවා that relationship ඒක සම්බන්ධතාවයක් is a relationship that Jesus is talking about I am the bridegroom and the church is the bride දැන් ඒ සම්බන්ධතාවය ගැන තමයි යේසුස් වහන්සේත් කතා කරන්නේ යේසුස් වහන්සේ කියනවා උන් වහන්සේ මනමාලයා අපි උන් වහන්සේගේ මනමාලිය කියා Let's see another scripture quickly in John chapter 17 now John was somebody who was attentively hearing the voice of Jesus very clearly and he put things together then metan api yohan 17 weni parichede balanne ane yohan pote boho sthana wala meweni aakarin yohan tuma yesus wahanse ge kiyaman walata ithama one kamin ahun kan dila itha pahedili we dewal sandhan karana pota when jesus was praying to the father yesus wahanse piyanna wahanse di aagnya kala mohote and these are one of the words that jesus prayed then me wa tama yesus wahanse visin aagnya kala us samahara wachana and we need to one thing believe what jesus prayed to the father. father has already been done then api ekak deyak vishwasa karanna one yesus wahanse visin piyanan wahanse karavu e yaagnyawe hama yaagnyawakma ishta vela avasan kiya jesus prayed everything in according to god's will then yesus wahanse yaagnya kare saama deyakma deviyan wahanse kemattata anuwai jesus prayed in faith yes. believing that god will do what he said jesus wahanse adahillen yaagnya kare unwahanse karapu hama yaagnyawakatama deviyan wahanse uttara denawa kiya vishwasa karamin and every prayer we pray api visin yaagnya karanna un saama yaagnyawal must be the will of god deviyan wahanse ge kemetta viya yutu it's not our thoughts that god is going to hear but it's going to be according to his will then api sitanna un situ vili walata neme unwahanse ahun kan denne yanne unwahanse ge kemetta ekan kawa yaagnya karanna un deyai if he was to answer every one of our prayer we would be so disappointed then unwahanseeta puluwan unoth api karana hama yaagnyawakata ma apita uttara denne ehema nan api kana gaadota lakwenna because if you record the prayers that we make or we we every one of us we do this mistake then api visin yaagnya karana lada hama yaagnyawak ma api tati gata karala baluwoth api hamoma me atta radda karanawa one day we say we want this another day we say we want this another day we say something altogether differently and another day we see something better and we say we want that then eka dawasedi api eka deyak kiya ලා කියනවා මට මේක ඕනේ. තව දවසකදී අපි කියනවා නෑ මට මේක ඕනේ කියලා. ඊට පස්සේ තවත් දවසකදී අපි ඒකට වඩා සම්පූර්ණ වෙනස් දෙයක් කියලා කියනවා නෑ ස්වාමිනි මට මේකයි ඕනේ අරකයි ඕනේ. It's all confusion. ඇත්තටම මෙතන තියෙන සම්පූර්ණ වියවුල් භාවයක්. It's all confusion. That's the reason we got to ask the Lord what he he desires for us. වියවුල් භාවයක් එතන තියෙන නිසා තමයි අපි උන්වහන්සේගෙන් අහන්න ඕනේ පියාණනි අපගේ ජීවිතය උදෙසා ඔබ කියන කැමැත්ත කොමක්ද? 
What do you desire that I should have? Mata laba gata yutu kia obage kena tehdi rati benne kumakda. Because he would give you the desire of your heart. Mokata unwahan se obe hada bati rati benne asha ava denne ana. And the desire of your heart is going to be filled only when you fellowship with him. Then unwahan obage hisite rati benne asha ava istamenta yanne. ඔබ උන්වහන්සේ සමග සහභාගී කම් දරුවෝ තමයි. You want to have some new desires coming into your heart. දැන් ඔබගේ හදවතට අලුත් ආශාවල් පැමිණෙන්න යනවා. Now when I was not saved I had so many desires. දැන් මම කැලවීම ලැබන්න කලින් මට බොහෝ ආශාවල් තිබුණා. And when I got saved I begin to see I started seeing things happening differently in my life. පස්සේ මම කැලවීම ලැබෝට පස්සේ දැක්කේ කොහොමද මගේ ජීවිතේ දේවල් වෙනස් ආකාරයෙන් සිද්ධ වෙන්නේ. I started seeing the desires that I had were just going away from me. මම දකින්න පටන් ගත්ත මගේ හදවත තිබුණු ආශාවල් කොහොමද ක්‍රම ක්‍රමයෙන් පහවි යන්නේ. And some new desires were being filled into my heart. කොහොමද මගේ හදවතට අලුත් ආශාවල් පිරෙන්නේ? Because now I'm fellowshiping with my best friend Jesus. මොකද දැන් මගේ හොඳම මිත්‍රයා වූ යේසුස් ක්‍රිස්තු ස්වාමී සමග මම සහභාගී කම් දරනවා. And because I begin to see his thoughts are getting into me. දැන් මම දකින්න පටන් ගන්නේ උන්වහන්සේගේ සිතුවිලි මට ඇතුල් වෙනවා. And my foolish thoughts are been diminishing out of my heart. මගේ මෝඩ සිතුවිලි දැන් මගේ හදවතින් ඉවත් වී යනවා. I begin to see those things moving out and something new into into my heart dan mata penenne parana sitwili mage nivat wi gihin alut sitwili kohomada mage hadawatata hatul wenne and if i were to look 20 years back i would say thank god that i god did not ask some of those desires that i had dan mama aurudu 20 akata kalin passata gihila baluha manda wiyan nasri stuti karana ay mage hite tibuna ay samahara asawal unwahanse ishta nokirima gana probably 30 years ago nathot aurudu 30 akata kalin tibuna asawal i thank god every day our ways are changing our mind is being renewed dan wiyan nasri stuti wewa අපගේ මාර්ග ක්‍රම අපගේ මනස දවස් පතා අලුත් වෙන වෙමින් තිබෙන නිසා because god does not see as man sees මොකද දෙවියන් වහන්සේ මිනිස්සුයා දකින ආකාරයෙන් නෙමෙයි දේවල් දකින්නේ in first samuel chapter 16 and verse 7 එක සමුවේල් 16 හතේ කියන්නේ he says god said i don't see as men see දෙවියන් වහන්සේ කියනවා මිනිස්සුයා දකින විදිහට මම දේවල් දකින්නේ නැහැ men always see the outside නිතරම මිනිස්සුන් නිතරම දකින්නේ පිටස්තරය but i see the inside නමුත් මම දකින්නේ ඇතුලාන්තය god sees inside but man sees outside දෙවියන් වහන්සේට ඇතුලාන්තය පේනවා මිනිස්සුයා බලන්නේ පිටස්තරය i mean when you look at things on face value and not heart value you're misjudging things in life then hadavathata watina kamak nodi muhunata oba watina kamak deela oba vinishchaya kalot obage jeevithe dewal godak at පස වෙන්න යනවා. That's really the fine people are so disappointed and they are so regretting and they are saying I, I I made the biggest mistake in my life. ඒක නිසා තමයි මිනිස්සු බොහොමයක් කනගාටු ලක් වෙලා පසු තැවෙලි වෙලා උන් කියන්නේ මගේ ජීවිතේ දැන් ගුඩ් ලොකු අත් වැරදි මං කරගෙන තිබෙනවා. So thank God God gives us guidance how to discern things and rightly know things. දෙවියන් වහන්සේට ස්තුති වේවා උන් වහන්සේ අපට විමසන විමසීම ආත්ම විමසීම ලබා දෙනවා හරි දේ සොයා විමසා දැනගන්න. He says I've come in to you to guide you unwahanse kiyanne ma oba vetata pamina sitinne oba tulata pamina sitinne obata maga penna not for you to live a better life for you to live the best then obata honda jeevithayak gatha karanna nove wada honda honda ma honda jeevithayak gatha karana penisai he wants he has given us his best unwahanse apata unwahanse ge honda ma de deethi bena jesus christ was the best offering that god can give us jesus christ swahanse tamai deviyan wahanse ta apata denna puluwan hondama pooja he didn't think oh, if i can find uh, an angel a wounded angel i would love to just give as a sacrifice to these sinful people deviyan wahanse hitwe naha me haukar manushyanta poojawa koppu karana pinisa man balanna da mage devadoothek tuwala vecha devadoothek ko denna no he didn't do that ese kale naha he gave his best unwahanse ge hondama de unwahanse laba dunna so that he could purchase us appava miladi ganna pinisa we were not valuable at all appita kohe එතම කොහෙත් වටිනාකමක් තිබුන් නැහැ. We were not valuable at all. We were not not one righteous the Bible says. අපි බයිබලේ පවසන එක කෙනෙක්වත් ධර්මිෂ්ට නැහැ. අපි කොහෙත්ම වටිනාකමක් අපිට තිබුණේ නැහැ. But our values changed. නමුත් අපේ වටිනාකම් වෙනස් වුණා. Jesus paid the highest price. Jesus වහන්සේ ලොකුම මිලය ගෙවලා and he purchased us. අපව මිලදී ගත්තා. He purchased us. උන්වහන්සේ අපව මිල 
දී ගත්තා we no longer belong to ourselves දැන් උන් අපි තවදුරටත් අපිට අයිති නැහැ we belong to him අපි අයිතිව සිටින්නේ උන් වහන්සේටයි and why don't we give him the best ඇයි එහෙම නම් අපි උන් වහන්සේට හොඳම දේ නොදෙන්නේ and why wouldn't we want to live the best ඇයි එහෙම නම් අපි හොඳම විදිහට ජීවත් නොවෙන්නේ why would we just live the least or try to live a better life එහෙම නම් ඇයි අපි අඩුම මට්ටමේ ජීවිතයක් නැතහොත් නිකන් හොඳ ජීවිතයක් පමණක් ජීවත් වෙන්න හදන්නේ Jesus didn't say I came to give you a better life. Jesus was saying you were not here mama ave obata honda jeevithayak denna kiya. He never said I came down to give you a better living. Unwahanse kiyuwe na kisi vitakat mama ave obata honda jeevithayak jeevath wenna. Isra ma vya that the thief has been stealing things from you. Unwahanse kiyuwa mama denuwath mama hondin denuwath sora avi dewal oben horakam karagena tibenawa. And you have been killed and robbed. Obawa oben sorakam karala obawa marha tibenawa. And you have been destroyed. ඔබව විනාශ කරලා තිබෙනවා but i have come නමුත් මම ඇවිත් සිටිනවා i have arrived මම දැන් ඇවිත් සිටිනවා to give you life ඔබට ජීවනය දෙන්න and life in abundance ඒක බහුලත්වයෙන්ම දෙන්න i come to give you life මම පැමිණ සිටින ඔබට ජීවනය දෙන්න not a better life that you are living right now ඔබ දැන් ජීවත් වෙන හොඳ ජීවිතය නොවේ some people think well after i receive jesus i'm living a little better life now සමහරක් අය හිතනවා දැන් මොනවා වුණත් මම දැන් හොඳින් ඉන්නවා හොඳ ජීවිතයක් මම ගත කරනවා I'm not living a better life I'm living all together a different life මම හොඳ ජීවිතයක් නෙමෙයි මුළු මනින්ම වෙනස් වුණා වූ ජීවිතයක් ගත කරනවා Everybody is seeking to live a better life හැමෝම ඔය මින් සිටින්නේ හොඳ ජීවිතයක් ගත කරන්නයි Talk to people in the world I I wish things would be better in my life මනුෂ්‍යට කතා කරලා බලන්න උන් කියන්නේ මම ප්‍රාර්ථනා කරනවා හොඳ ජීවිතයක් ගත කරන්න පුළුවන් I wish something would be better in my life මගේ ජීවිතේ මොනවා හරි හොඳක් වෙයි කියලා මම ප්‍රාර්ථනා කරනවා But Jesus transforms us completely namu jesus swanse karanne apiwa sampurnema maru kirimai he came down from heaven unwanse swargayen polawata awa and he has come into our hearts then ape hadawath walata evith sitinawa and he has given us a heavenly nature then apata swargika swabhavayak dii tibenawa has taken away our stony heart ape galsita unwanse wat kara tibenawa he has given us a divine nature then apata divyamaya swabhavayak dii tibenawa so we are different people then ape venas manushya don't be don't be surprised when people look at you differently දැන් මිනිස්සුන් ඔබ දිහා වෙනස් විදිහට බලන විට ඔබ පුදුම වෙන්න එපා. And if you try to cover up yourself, you are you are only taking that light and then and putting it under a bushel or something like that. දැන් ඔබේ ජීවිතය ඔබ under a bed. වසන්න හැදුවොත් වසා ගන්න හැදුවොත් ඒක හරියට නිකන් ඒ ආලෝකයක් අරගෙන අපි ඇඳ යට හෝ පඳුරක් යට හංගනවා වගේ. Don't be ashamed of Jesus. Jesus වහන්සේ කියන ඔබ ලැජ්ජා වෙන්න එපා. He became a shame for you. වහන්සේ ඔබ නිසා ලැජ්ජාවක්. And he has taken away all your shame. ඔබේ හැම ලැජ්ජාවක්ම උන් වහන්සේ වත් කර තිබෙනවා. And Jesus said if you confess me before men I will confess you before my father. Jesus වහන්සේ කියන ඔබ මිනිස්සුන් ඉදිරියේ මාව ප්‍රකාශ කරොත් මං ඔබ ගැන දෙවියන් වහන්සේ ඉදිරියේ ප්‍රකාශ කරනවා. You have a reputation in heaven also. ස්වර්ගයේ ඔබට කීර්ති නාමයක් තිබෙනවා. I mean you are a very reputed person. ඔබ ඇත්තටම කීර්තිමත් පුද්ගලයෙක්. Right. So we go to John chapter 17. අපි යොහාන් 17 වෙනි පරිච්ඡේදයේ බලමු. Now Jesus is praying to the Father. යේසුස් වහන්සේ පියාට යාච්ඤා කරනවා. And this is the Lord's prayer. මේක තමයි ස්වාමීන් වහන්සේගේ යාච්ඤාව. The New Testament prayer that Jesus a prayer of intercession that Jesus makes to the Father concerning the church. තුල අලුත් කිවිසුම තුල යේසුස් ක්‍රිස්තුස් වහන්සේ සභාව සම්බන්ධයෙන් පියාණන් වහන්සේට කරන්නා වූ යාච්ඤාව. And the and and the prayer that he prays and one of the places he makes this statement then unwanse visin karana yaknya ve di unwanse meveni prakashanaya karana was 21 that they all may be one as thou father art in me and i in thee that they may be one in us that the world may believe that thou has sent me yohanda hate 21 on sihallan ekatwayak wana pinisa piyavu oba maatulehida මා ඔබ තුලෙහිද සිටින්නාක් මෙන්ම ඔබ මා එවූ බව ලෝකයා විශ්වාස කරන පිනිසත් අප තුල ඕන් ඒකත්වයක් වන පිනිසත් යාඥා කරමි How would the world believe that Jesus came down to earth Then කොහොමද ලෝකයා විශ්වාස කරන්න යන්නේ යේසුස් වහන්සේ පොළවට පැමිණියා කියලා How will the world believe කොහොමද ලෝකයා විශ්වාස කරන්නේ Only by knowing that you are a different person ඔබ වෙනස් පුද්ගලයෙක් කියා දැනගැනීම තුලින් පමණයි 
and the only way they're going to know is when they see that you are related to god so closely that god lives inside of you then oba deviyan vahanseta e tarama kittu sambandhatavayak athi karagena deviyan vahanse oba tula jeevat wenawa kiya own dana ganima tulin pamanai he says as much as father you are in me and i in you own metana pawasana piyanani ඔබ මා තුල සිටිනවා විශේෂම මං ඔබ තුල සිටිනා සේම they also may be one in us ඕනොත් අප සමග ඒකත්වයක් වෙන පිණිස i mean you are different ඔබ වෙනස් it's not a surprise you are different ඔබ වෙනස් කෙනෙක් ඒක පුදුම වෙන්න කාරණාවක් නොවේ your your decision your speech your way of doing things is different ඔබ ගන්නා තීරණ ඔබගේ කතා බහ මේ හැම දෙයක්ම වෙනස් you're going to be so joyful at all times ඔබ නිතරම පිටිපත්ව සිටින කෙනෙක් because god lives inside of you and there is no sorrow in you දෙවියන් වහන්සේ ඔබ තුළ වාසය කරන නිසා ඔබ තුළ කිසි ශෝකයක් නැහැ you have peace in you while there is confusion in the world ලෝකයේ තුල වියලු භාවය තිබෙන තැන ඔබට සමාධානය තිබෙනවා because this is the reason jesus came down to earth and he departed මොකද මේක තමයි හේතුව යේසුස් වහන්සේ පොළවට පැමිණ නැවත ඉවත් වී යෑමට so that we might be different people අප වෙනස් මිනිස්සු වෙන පිනිස totally different සම්පූර්ණ වෙනස් පුද්ගලයෝ වෙන පිනිස quickly we are going to go to john chapter 14 again යොහාන් 14 වෙනි පරිච්ඡේදය අපි නැවත තත් බලන්න what the lord put in my heart this morning was to to talk about the most important character who is living in us the holy spirit then swami nwan sada dawase mage hadu tulu demu පණිවිඩය නම් අප තුල තිබෙනවා ඒ ප්‍රධානම චරිතය අප තුල වාසය කරනවා. Jesus went and he said I will send you the comforter. Jesus වහන්සේ ගොස් උන්වහන්සේ කිව්වා මම ඔබ වෙතට සැනසිලි කරු එවන් දෙයක්. He is a true comforter who is going to be with you. උන්වහන්සේ තමයි ඔබ සමග සිටින්න යන සැබෑ සැනසිලි කරු. You might have people coming around you with little flowers and encouraging you for a while but Jesus is going to be with you and the Holy Spirit himself is going to be with you and in you and he's always going to be for you. Then manushyan paminevi keti kalekata boba sana sana samahalata mal pokurak ragena boba sana sala dhairyamath karanna namuth eka keti kalayai namuth Jesus wahanse kiyanne shuddha atmanan wahanse oba wetata pamina oba samaga nitharama sitinta yana bawai. So he's in John chapter 14 and verse 16 that I pray the Father that he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever yohan da hatri dase kina mama piyanan wahanse gen illannemi e vita un wahanse nubala samaga sada kalma sitina pinisa wenan sanasili kareku nubalata dena seka verse 17 says even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive da hatani pade kiyenawa e sanasili karya no satyatave aatmyanan wahanse උන් වහන්සේව පිළිගන්න ලෝකයට බැරිය. The world cannot receive. ලෝකයට බැහැයි කියනවා උන් වහන්සේව පිළිගන්න. The world cannot receive. උන් වහන්සේව පිළිගන්න ලෝකයට බැරිය. And then it says the world cannot even see because it seeth him not neither knoweth him but you know him for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. ඊළඟ පදේ කියන මක් නිසාන ලෝකයා උන් වහන්සේව දකින්නේවත් අඳුරන්නේවත් නැත. නුබලා උන්වහන්සේව අඳුනන්න හුය මක් නිසාද උන්වහන්සේ නුබලා සමග නැවති සිටින සේක නුබලා තුලෙහි සිටින සේක how do we differentiate the world and a child of god දැන් කොහොමද දෙවියන් වහන්සේගේ දරුවෙක්වත් ලෝකයාවත් අපි වෙන් කර හඳුනා ගන්නේ because jesus is talking about the world the people who are living in the world wahanse lokaya gena natta lokaye sitna manushyo gena mitana katha karanawa so how do we differentiate ehena kohomada me deka api wen karana handuna ganne people in the world need to believe in jesus lokaye sitna manushyanta siddha wenawa jesus wahanse kere adaha ganna believe that jesus is the son of god jesus christ wahanse kiyanne deviyan wahanse ge putraya baba adaha ganna believe that jesus is lord jesus swami nwahanse kiya adaha ganna believe that jesus came to die on the cross for you jesus swahanse oba udessa kurse miya yanna pamini bawa adaha ganna believe that god raised jesus christ from the dead deviyan nwahanse jesus swahanse malunge negative bawa adaha ganna and to many has received him nwahanse adaha ganna u sialu denama to many has received him john chapter 1 and verse 12 says to many has received received him yohan ekke 12 kiyenawa un wahanse wa piliganna u kenek adda and to many as received him to them gave he the power to become sons of god unta deviyan wahanse ge daruwan wenta un wahanse balaya dunnu bawa so 
the world can easily receive jesus if they want to iting lokaya tita pahasu eng puluwang ounta ona nam jesus wants va piligala because god so loved the world mokada deviyan wahanse lokaya ta prema kala sek john 3:16 says god loved the world yohan tune dase kiyana deviyan wahanse lokaya ta prema kala sek jesus didn't come only for the clean people he came for the he came for the entire mankind yes swahan se pavitra manushyan pamana kudesa nova mulu manusha vargaya udesai peminiye he came to the entire world un vahan se mulu lokaya udesai peminiye god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son magnisa the devian vahanse swaki eka jataka putra nan dena taram lokaya prema kala so that we might be saved api va galawa ganna pinisa so that we might be saved api va galawa ganna pinisa not by our works appage kriya tulin nova but by believing that jesus is lord yesus kyane swamin wahanse kya adha ganima tulin so we find jesus dying on the cross dan metanadi apita peena yesus wahanse kurse me yama tulin bringing forgiveness to mankind manushya vargayata samawa dima tulin and most of all the holy spirit coming into us ida wada wedi na apita peenne shuddha atmena wahanse apa vetara pamenena he is the spirit of truth shuddha atmena wahanse tamai satyatave aatmaya he is the spirit of truth satyatave aatmaya you're not going to no longer live a different life you're going to live a truthful life sava durata tapi venas jeevithayak nova satyatave jeevithayak gatha karanna yanawa you're going to be led by the spirit shuddhaatmyanan mahansegen maga pennwima labaganna yanawa i'm going to close with the final scripture antima padaya kiyawa ma avasan karanna yanawa because this is something that we need to experience then meka api visin athya kiyutu deyak hadiyata tibena in acts chapter 2 kriya deveni parichede okay we'll we'll read from the book of acts one or two scriptures that's all we're going to we're going to close with that api me pada kipe akiyawala avasan acts chapter 1 kriya palaveni parichede jesus said you shall receive power after the holy spirit comes upon you yesu swanse kiwa shuddhaatman mahanse nubara kire pemini kala nubala bale labanta yana baba you shall receive power after the holy spirit comes upon you shuddhaatman mahanse nubala kire pemini kala nubala bale labanna huya you shall receive power oba bale labanta yana the world is seeking for power lokaya balaya soyagena yanama which actually is making them powerless eventually anti medi ouna bala rahita karanta yanama but the true power is the power of the holy spirit namu sebae balaya tibenne shuddha atmana wahanse ge balaya thamai the power is the holy spirit power sebae balaya kiyane shuddha atma balaya that will help you to live the life that god wants you to live devian wahanse ta avashya karanna u jeevithaya jeevat karanta udahu karanna avu so jesus the departure of jesus brings the power of god into our life i think yesu swanse ge vetpi ya ape jeevithayata balaya gena ba or receive power api balaya laba ganna we want to be powerful people api balaya lat manushya wenna yone we are going to be so powerful everything that we do api karana hama deyakma balawatwa karanna yi api tone stable in what we do api karana hama deyakma sthira mattamen karanna yi api tone and we keep to our words because we have the spirit of truth ape wachane api pawatwanna yi api tone wachane wachane vidira tan tiyanna we are people living totally different from the world api lokaya ta wada sampurneng wenas pudgaleyo totally different from the world sampurne mapi lokaya we have received the power of god lokin wenas mukoda deviyanna sege bale api laba sita nisa and in the book of acts chapter 2 and verse 38 kriya deke 38 okay we read verse 33 first api palamo 33 weni padaya kiyawa therefore being by the right hand of god exalted and having received of the father the promise of the holy spirit he has shed forth this which you see and hear kriya dekhe hitis tuna ehe yin un wahanse devya wahanse ge dakuna tin usas karnu laba porondu wo shuddhaatmana wahanse pianan wahanse ge laba nobala asana dakina mede vagireu seka the inauguration of the church sabahave aarambaya was the baptism of the holy spirit patan gatte shuddhaatma bautismaya tulin the spirit of the lord came upon the 120 who were waiting for god swamin vahanse ge aatmaya un vahanse bala sitiya wu manushyan 120 denek vetata paminiya and they believed even as jesus said yes swan se kepo aha karenma own adaha gatta the spirit of the lord came upon them swamin vanse ge aatmaya own vetata paminiya and they became totally different people it passo un sampurna wenas manushya bawata patuna 
in verse 38 it says this is at any pade kiyana then peter said unto them repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of the lord in the name of jesus christ for the remission of sin that and you shall receive the gift of the holy spirit petrus numala siyalloma pasu tabeliwa pau kamawa pinisa jesus christ swahansa ge naamayen bautisme laba palla evita shuddhaatma deemanawa nubala labanna the holy spirit comes into us as a gift shuddhaatmana wahanse apa vetata paminenne tyagayak hadiyatai we can't earn the holy spirit apita beha shuddhaatmana wahanse wa upayanna we can't do something for the holy spirit to like us specially and come into us visheshenma apata kemathi karawagena apata kemathi wena vidiyata apata dewal karanna beha shuddha atmen vahanse wapa vetara ganna pinisa but god has given the holy spirit to us as a gift devian vahanse shuddha atmen vahanse wapata deethi benne tyagayak hadiyatai the holy spirit has come into our lives and there are several more scriptures that we can discuss but we have no time today apita kaalaya nathi nisa ada dawase apata boho pada puluwan katha karanna me sambandhawa and this This was exactly what happened in Acts chapter 2. Then make a tamai hariyata va siddha une. In verse 1. Kriya deke ekhi. Now this was the departure of Jesus that brought the blessing into the church or big or the church was begun in this place. Then make a tamai Jesus vahanse ge ivatwa yama nisa sabhavata labuna wu aashirwade natahot sabhave aarambaya. I mean the beginning of the church is the baptism of the holy spirit. Sabhave aarambhaya nam kumakta shuddha atma bautisme. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come they were all with one accord in one place and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as a rushing mighty wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire. and it sat upon them and they were all filled with the holy ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance kriya dekhe ke sit hadra dakwa thavada pentecost davasa pamini kala on siallo ek tanaka raswa city oya thada sulanga khamannak men shabdayak ahasen hadisiyen pamina ein on hindagena unnawu muluge piruneya gini weni wo dew wedi yanawa onta penuneya එය ඕන් එකෙක් කෙනා කෙරෙහි පිහිටුනේය ඕන් සියල්ලෝ ශුද්ධාත්මයෙන් පූර්ණව ආත්මනන් වහන්සේ උන්ට කතා කරන්න පුළුවන් කම් දුන් ප්‍රකාරයට අන්‍ය භාෂාවලින් කතා කරන්න පටන් ගත්තෝය This is the greatest blessing that God has given us මේක තමයි දෙවියන් වහන්සේ විසින් අපට දී තිබෙන ශ්‍රේෂ්ඨතම ආශිර්වාදය The greatest blessing that has come into us අප වෙතට පැමිණ තිබෙන ශ්‍රේෂ්ඨතම ආශිර්වාදය The Holy Spirit comes into us නම් ශුද්ධාත්මන් වහන්සේ අප තුළට පැමිණීමයි And we begin to speak in other tongues ඊට පස්සේ අපි වෙනත් භාෂාවලින් කතා කරනවා There are many benefits in speaking in other tongues අන්‍ය භාෂාවලින් කතා කිරීමේහි වරප්‍රසාද බොහෝමයක් තිබෙනවා And we begin to believe that God will begin to move in the lives of every individual දෙවියන් ආසි සෑම පුද්ගලයෙක්ගේ ජීවිතය කෙරෙහි ක්‍රියා කරන්න යනවා and every one of us we need to believe in the baptism of the holy spirit අපි හැමෝම මේ ශුද්ධාත්ම බෞද්ධිස්මයේ කෙරෙහි විශ්වාස කළ යුතුයි just as we were baptized in, into the waters ඔබ වතුර බෞද්ධිස්මය ගත්තා සේම and then you you came out fully wet then oba vaturai gel wunahama oba eliyata ave sampurnen temila likewise when the holy spirit comes upon you eha karima thamai shuddhaatmana wahanse oba vetata pamiliyama and you start speaking in and through your life shuddhaatmana wahanse oba tula saha oba tulin katha karanne yanawa you live a different life ida pasu oba wenas jeevithayak gatha karanne yanawa you begin to see i'm living this is the greatest blessing that has happened to the church it or the beginning of the church meka tamai sabhave aarambhe netho sabhavata labuna shreshthatama aashirwadaya shall we all rise up as an act of faith api hamoma adahile kriyawak hadiyata negative muda it always comes as an act of faith e hama deyakma paminenne adahile kriyawak lesata he who thirst the bible says bible e pawasana pipasa atta In John chapter 7 and verse 39 Yohan 7:39 Nami it says he who thirst pipasa atta shall be filled pipasa atta ta pipase nathi wenta yana and out of his innermost being shall flow rivers of living water hoge atulantayen e jeevane gangawal 
galaya ante out of his innermost being shall flow rivers of living water unge atulanta yen jeevane ganga aval galagane and the holy spirit wants to exhibit himself through you chudda pen wahanse to one oba tulin un wahanse pradarshane karanna he wants to show himself he is a show off un wahanse to one pennum karanna pradarshane karanna un wahanse i mean find a lot of show offs and we just look at them and say he is not even worth two cents we just try to show off then samara manushyo ino tamangwa pennum karana anitha ayata pennan kar අන්නවත් සුදුසුයක් නැති වුණත් but god is truly a show off Namu. look at the beauty of the creation we can say truly lord you are a big show off but you are truly truly a genuine show off devian wahanse kiyanne unwahanse ke mavilla baluwath unwahanse pradarshane karanna boho lassana dewal tibenawa attatama unwahanse sudusek dewal pradarshane karanna and he wants to manifest himself through your life unwahanse tone obba tulin obba ge jeevithe tulin anne ayata prakasha wenna he wants to show himself through you unwahanse tone obba tulin unwahanse va pennanna you are important to him obai unwahanse ta vedagat wanna as much as he is everything to us unwahanse apata koi taram ape jeevithe hama deyakma wagema but he makes us vips we are important unwahanse apawa vishesha pudgalayo karak tibenawa that's why he vedagat pudgalayo karak tibenawa the highest prize the life blood of jesus eka nisa tama unwahanse lokuma miliya gewwe yesus christ swahansa ge jeevana le It's not just a religious life it's a life feel life. Eka nikang agamika jeevithayak nove jeevanen piruna avo jeevithayak. We are not trying to we are not trying to be somebody we are who the bible says we are. Apita one naha kawat abibawa yanna namuth api api sitinna asema sitinna mudu bible e kiyanne api e aakarin sitta thamai. Hallelujah let's praise him and worship him. Api unwahanse prashansa karami namaskar karamu. And the spirit of the lord is going to just touch your life. Swami unwahanse ge aathme obey jeevitha lata gasanna yanawa. You may be born again but you have never spoken in tongues. Oba halu thutpadare labala athi gelimima labala athi namuth oba kisi vita ka thanne bhashawen katha karala. Are you thirsty he who thirst hath come to me jesus cried out in the last day and said he said he who thirst hath come unto me o but if he pass a nam yesu swanse ki if he pass a etta ma vetata pemini aave and you shall be a river oba ganga avak wenta yanawa you shall be a river oba ganga avak wenta yanawa a never drying river kisi vitaka velenne nathi ganga avak not just a pond but a river nikha pokunak nove ganga avak a river always flows ganga avak nitharama gala agena yanawa but a pond is stagnant namuth pokuna eka thana pal wenawa but we thank god jesus was speaking about a river that's flowing out of us namuth jesus swanse katha karana apathulin gala agena yana ganga avak gena hallelujah praise you jesus yesu ni obata prashansa you pray in time you pray in the language you know and you ask him to do what he needs to do in your life Oba right pra- now oba unwahan se to be bhashaven nato kanne bhashaven katha karala kiyanne unwahan se to karanta ona de oba tulin dan karanna kiya thank you jesus yesu ni obata stuti thank you jesus yesu ni obata stuti all the dryness to be removed and let the weight of the wetness of the holy spirit be upon your life right now am really bhavyak me what we go should that mean wahan se ge temi mo bavet ta feminine kya ma ki na me mo te randa lo rikara bash every one of us let's rejoice in the lord because the spirit of the lord is joy api hamo ma swami no hasa tuma preethi mo bavet swami no hasa ge aathmaya kya ne preethiya shira da randa lo rikara bash shira da randa lo rikala va just rejoice in the lord in the presence swami wahan se tula pre In the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. Swami, Mahan sege abhi mukhe preeti hai sampoor na khamati benwa. And the joy of the Lord is your strength. Swami, Mahan sege re preeti bhi mat hamai ho be shaktiya. The joy of the Lord is your strength. Swami, Mahan sege re preeti bhi mai ho be shaktiya. Hallelujah! We can rejoice in the Lord. Abhi Swami, Mahan sege praise you, Jesus. Abhi so bade prashan sa karna yeh. Praise you, Jesus. Abhi bade prashan sa karna yeh. Praise you, Jesus. Prashan sa beva yeh. Hallelujah! We Exalt your holy name. Obe shuddha naam ya ya pyo samane. I told you we are different people. Ma obade kiu abe vena smanushe. We don't act religious. Api aagama ke visidhiyata hasire ne. We don't try to do things just to be doing things. Api deval karanna wale deval karanne na ha. But we want to let the holy spirit show through us. Show him self through us. Api harine shuddha asmane wahan se api thulin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you're strong among the believers you're going to be strong in the world. Oba adehili wanthiyan athare shakti mat sema lo 
Hallelujah, we bless you, bless you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We exalt your holy name. We worship and bless you, Father. Hallelujah, you can pray in tongues. You're free in the presence of the Lord. Something new that's going to happen in your life and you're going to go with something new in your life. Be refreshed in the presence of the Lord. There is healing in the presence of the Lord. If you have come down here right now, I need healing in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing right now. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we praise you. If you never spoke in tongues, start speaking in tongues. Hallelujah. These are times of rejoicing. Hallelujah. We rejoice in the presence of the Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Praise Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. He is the spirit of truth. Whom the world cannot receive because they see him not. But you know him because he dwells in you. Praise you, praise you, praise you, praise you Jesus. We exalt your holy name. Bless your glorious name. Name. Hallelujah. Praise you, Jesus. The scripture that we read just a while ago. And when they started rejoicing like this. The people around in the world started looking at them differently. And they said, you're like drunks. You are drunk. And Peter had to go and tell them, this is 9 o'clock in the morning. We don't get drunk in the morning. But the Holy Spirit has come into us. This is what Prophet Joel spoke. That in the last days, that he will pour out his spirit upon all flesh. He shall pour out his spirit upon all flesh. And then all flesh is you and me, we are flesh and blood. And he says that we shall dream dreams and see visions. And we are not drunk here. They might call us drunks. But we are truly influenced by the Holy Spirit. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Oh, we rejoice. We rejoice, we rejoice in thy presence. We rejoice in, our, in your presence, oh God. You are dwelling in us, oh God. What peace and comfort we have. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your favor. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for showing yourself through these people. We thank you, Jesus, for your manifest presence. We thank you for healing our brothers and sisters right now. And we believe, Lord, you're refreshing. You're bringing something new into the lives of people. Hallelujah. They're going to go with peace in their hearts. They're not going to go the same way they came in, but they're going to go different. They're different. Because we know for the very sole purpose that you died was to bring the Holy Spirit into us. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen.